Oh, well, a righteous aloha, my dudes and dudettes. Who wants to crash some gnar into big blue tubes today, bruh? Because we're totally, like, gonna watch Surf Ninjas, bro. We're gonna end up getting super pitted, bro. Alright, I, I can't do it. I'm so pale, like, even that voice of a beachgoer is giving me a sunburn. Today, it's Surf Ninjas. The tale of two brothers who are old enough to remember what happened, totally not remembering what happened, and Leslie Nielsen playing the only non-funny character I can remember him playing. So, let's go shock a bra on... Red Eye Reviews. So, the best part of this movie, hands down, is that Ernie Reyes Jr. and Ernie Reyes Sr. get to be in a movie together. It is the most adorable father-son bonding, and it's, it's so wholesome, it's just lovely. We start with Johnny and Adam totally surfing, you know, we, we don't see their feet, but you can't pretend to surf this good. How many times I gotta tell you? No Van Halen till I had my coffee. Uh, Dad, Van Halen is coffee. You, if you don't get pumped listening to that guitar solo in Eruption, you probably have COVID because I think you lost your taste. <laughs> But they live in L.A. They act like it's Hawaii. It's L.A. Uh, their dad adopted them when they were young. But we don't know where we came from before him. And apparently we don't care at all. They came to kill the boys as I knew they would. But I was there to stop them. Their past had finally caught up with them. Okay. Uh, firstly, hello. Don't just start speaking to us. Introduce yourself. Secondly, how do they have a past? This kid is like six. His past was yesterday. He's still wet from the womb. But while, but, but while these kids are just doing their day, oh, and Rob Schneider, Rob Schneider is there too. I, I could do an entire video about Rob, but like, do you guys ever realize that all he does is just react to things? Every movie with Rob in it, just remove Rob and ask yourself if the plot would change at all. It wouldn't. It wouldn't change. And Jovi Omelet. What if I was a dumb and my dad was a really rich king and stuff? I don't know why I'm being mean to Rob. I like Rob. But it's them going about their business while I Patch Ernie here saves them from ninjas and nobody notices. At school, Johnny is supposed to greet this holy man, but he forgets. So uh, he just wings it. This visiting guru guy, Baba Ram. Ha, ba, 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 Ram. In a real Baba Ram. Well, I give you an A for effort, and that man's look is a look of amazement. I think you pulled it off. But we cut on over to the bad guy. Hello? Hello? Those boys die tonight. Did you call earlier to hang up? Dang. And if you haven't seen this movie, it's so weird. Like, you have Ernie Reyes' dad and pup telling jokes left and right, being slapsticky, and then Leslie Nielsen, the godfather of slapstick, plays it straight. And it gets even weirder. Well, what? You're not coming with us? I'll be there in a minute. Well, that hair color is, uh... Well, uh, it certainly is. But... They go surfing. Rob pretends to surf. He just waxes his board in public. I mean, come on. <laughs> that night, though, we get a direct approach finally. <laughs> Ninjas hate windows. Write it down. You'll notice in those super old Japanese samurai movies, no glass windows. Coincidence? We'll see. But they all fight. Dad bod gets in on the action too. And uh, okay, Rob. Rob, you're funny, right? We need you to give us like, like a little bit of improv. Just give us something. Okay, Robert. Uh, we're gonna have to ask you to stick to the script from now on. That's on us. That's not on you. That's on me. Your Highnesses. Why do you keep calling us that? Because you are a crown princess. And your father was a king. Patusan. Of 
whom the prophecies foretold. All right, I need to back up for just like a second. I never thought I would say this, but that fire almost makes this like less impressive. Hey, you know what? Maybe it's like an older fire, just has a harder time performing after all these years. But Zatch tells us that our little guys are actually princes from Patusan. And somehow Ernie Jr., who in this flashback is definitely old enough to remember this place, does not. The peace would be broken by bloodshed. Led by Colonel Chi. And just screenshot that. That'll live on my computer forever because it is everything I've ever wanted. Those children will never escape! Yeah! <laughs> so Zatch rescues the kids. He gets out of Patusan. The king and queen would follow us, but they have about 60 pounds of gold on their head. Their necks could literally snap with the slightest movement, so they stay behind. Mac had worked for the royal family for many years. You were those children, your highnesses. Mac is inconsequential. Your rebellion, that's inconsequential. Our dad is not inconsequential. Inconsequential is way too hard of a word for you all to be saying it as much as you are. But the kids head back to their house. We learn that Dad Bod was kidnapped by those ninjas, which provides us some motivation. And uh, Rob Schneider's there. He does what he does. So you sure your kid's gonna be all right tonight? I told you our uncle's staying with us. I'm gonna leave a patrol unit outside your house tonight. I think some guys are probably leaning on your old man. Now you kids, get in here and clean up your bloody room. Beat you with a leg of mine that no longer works, because I'll do it. I'm 37. Again. Does that make the movie better? I'm not really sure, but what I am sure of is that man has an incredible voice and should do a podcast. I would listen to it every day. We become a true visionary. That's weird. Never been on this level before. <laughs> I think we established this a long time ago, but Game Gears are dope AF. And fun little fact here, this game was actually developed by Sega for this movie. There is a real game called Surf Ninjas, but it doesn't really look anything like this. And then if I had to guess, I think this is about where the writers stopped meeting with each other and one guy was like, don't worry everybody, I know how to proceed with the rest of this Surf Ninja movie. I mean, what if the house blows? Oh, yeah, this jealous biatch blows up the house so that they literally have no choice but to go with him. Your Highnesses, you must understand that there's no turning back. And I'm just gonna say it. Uh, this is starting to feel very kidnappy. Also, that fireball in the background definitely killed their neighbors too. But uh, she blew up our home. I had no choice. Oh, well, you had no choice. You had no choice. So they head to a restaurant. It is Patu Sani food inside. They all recognize these little princes. There'll be trouble, Gumbe. Trouble? <laughs> trouble does not worry me. I knew you'd be trouble when you walked in. Hashtag T Swifty. The wedding was agreed to by your father and Gumbe when you were children. As you meet your future bride. Did anybody else think we were about to see a magic trick? Like he was gonna remove that veil and her face would just be gone. But this is his future wife because Patsu-san apparently is all about those arranged marriages. Man, I couldn't sleep last night. Everything smelled like chow mein. Damn it, Rob! We said no more improv! And we mean it! Anybody want to feel it? Andre, you can do whatever you want, man. I love you, giant, giant man. Tell me what it is! Tell me! <laughs> But the kids discover that they have powers, I guess. Like, Patusan gave them abilities and they're just now kicking in for our story to make sense. <laughs> Ernie Jr.'s power is that he can do martial arts and kick some ass. And the little kid's power is that he can continue to play his game gear and the battery just never dies. Oh wait, that, that's not the power? Oh, I'm sorry, it's that the game gear can predict the future. Lobster octopus. <laughs> Eat squid, so we're not sure if he has the power or the Game Gear has the power, 
but we're for it. They're taking your father to Sri Wan. What's that? The Fortress of Death. But the gang heads to Patu San, and on the boat, our cop friend with that sexy sing me to sleep voice shows up as well. I'm trying to keep you from getting kidnapped. Lieutenant, good night. Oh, yeah, good night, baby. You know you ran out of budget when you can't even afford, like, an Indiana Jones-style travel map? You just gotta, like, film some dude's hands dragging a toy around? You're not gonna stop us, Lieutenant Spence. I don't wanna stop you. I'm thinking about joining you. Going with you guys is your destiny. Some would call it destiny. Others would call it a paid vacation at your employer's expense, but, uh, we'll call it destiny. So they head to some secret cave to get Ernie Jr. his weapon. Stand and defend yourself. Not you, him. All right, for real, this had to be a blast of film for that dad and son. It's got to be some dream come true moment for the two of them, and I think it's pretty dope. Let's have more of this and less of Rob. Johnny is amazing. I know. He can get a job as a sushi chef, no problem. But they get out of the cave. They see some baddies down the hill. Uh, a couple of us fall down the hill. A couple of us do this. And the rest of us jump. I'm going to guess that the bullet budget for this movie was zero because they haven't shot any bullets yet. They spent all the money on those rocking uniforms, but at least you look fly while standing there. Dynamite here. I need light. I need light. Cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should get the pack. Look who I'm talking to. Rob, you just improv a fourth wall break an hour into this movie? If that was planned... I am convinced that this movie was written at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. by a couple of drunk people, and then when they sobered up, they realized they already secured funding for it somehow, so they couldn't back out. But our group heads to Leslie Nielsen's base. Along the way, we try to get an impromptu parade going. There's a lot of headbands involved, a lot of good enthusiasm. I, for one, dig dancing grandpa. This man is fly as hell. soup <laughs> hot soup to you too i don't think they're saying that but it's better for me to imagine they're just saying hot soup oh, 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 oh. if we could all have a moment of silence for our fellow man well and who do my parents think they are telling me who i'm gonna marry i've been doing everything that was expected of a traditional patusani girl that is if i marry i mean that was a really swell kiss and all but i think he's the only person in history to get friend zoned in an arranged marriage. So, we spot the island fortress. We have no way to get there. Apparently, the only boat in this entire place, we sank it when we showed up. So, do these people want to live here or are they stuck here? You be the judge. But what do we do in this particular situation? Pakistani is any good at wood carving and stuff? They are among the best in the world. Kwan Tzu dudes! Kwan Tzu dudes! The surf warriors arrived on shore, exhausted, paddling across several miles of open ocean, turned out to be much harder than previously thought. It's a good thing our brave men can catch their breath by climbing this cliff and then rope climbing over a fortress wall. You do really have to admire the guys who somehow surfed over here carrying these flags. You think Americans like their flags a lot. Patusanis will surf with those things and climb cliffs just to bring them into battle. So, they rescue their dad, and now Johnny has to face Robo Nielsen. You never listened to me before. How can I stop you now? I would go with you, bud, but the PGA Tour is on TV, and I need to take a nap while watching it. But... If you change the channel, I'll wake up and I'll say I'm still watching that. Well. Ah! 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 
movies are awesome. Like, do you want to see Robo Leslie Nielsen fighting a trained martial artist and it actually being close? Only in movies, man. Only in movies. <laughs> oh, water! Water! <laughs> so Ernie kicks our man into a small body of water and his exposed electronics betray him. Congratulations, your highnesses. Quatsu, dudes! As my future queen and I go off to take our SATs, I hereby dissolve the monarchy, give the government to its people. Uh, future queen? Excuse me, we've been over this. We're just friends. Ba 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 brand. All right, you won me over. You sing Barbara Ann one time, I wasn't so, but you double down. You sing it a second time in a giant musical number? Best movie of all time. And that is everything Barbara Ann even made us all forget that Leslie Nielsen was the only person to actually die in this movie. Well, okay, Leslie and their neighbors from that bombing, because like, somebody definitely died here. But that is it, so let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. <laughs> Psych. Psych. <laughs> we hate you. And now, here is just random scenes I pulled out that I find funny. Hello. They have taken him. They have taken him. Ah, love his legs. I want you to keep one eye on my friends. And one, well, even when they ask you not to put MSG in, you still put it in, right? Uh-huh. I know it. But, but why did they spare that old man? Ugh, I'm blind. Hey, I'm just kidding, I'm old. Wow, thanks for the headband. Hold on, son. You think these headbands are free? They're not free. That'll be 25 bucks or two for 40. I mean, it's supposed to be like magic, isn't it? The magic is real. The magic is real. But, you know, you'll need to pay 40 more dollars for the Island Attack expansion pack. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> There's also a guy in the credits called the On Call Swing. And I'm sure this means something technical. But I also really hope it's like for when the children actors get bored, they could be like, call in the swings. <laughs> I, I need some me time. That is it. That is Surf Ninjas. I own it forever on DVD now. And it's a treat. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video with a thumbs up. Leave some comments. If you've seen Surf Ninjas or better yet, have you played around on the DVD? It's awesome. A huge shout out to the patrons on my Patreon page. That community is great. It continues to grow all the time. And you all keep surprising me with these amazing movies. So sincerely, thank you all so much. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, head to the Patreon page. That link is down below. My Discord channel down below. Merch store down below. I will see you all next time. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Adam, you're driving. Ain't it, pigeon?